Ministry of the Archdiocese of Boston wanted to build a Catholic high school in Brockton on farmland at the top of Court Street Hill. Now this was a very bold idea. Back in 1957, traveling from Boston to Brockton was an all-day trip. I'm sure that Cardinal Cushing had to persuade many people to buy into this project. It might even be possible that some of the people responsible for the construction of the school may never have ever been as far away from Boston as to have come to Brockton. Cardinal Cushing prevailed and plans to build Spellman moved ahead. From what I found in our old records, as amazing as this sounds, the original cost to build the school, the auditorium, cap, and convent was just over $200,000. You might ask yourself, if Cardinal Cushing is our founder, why are we not called Cardinal Cushing High School? Well, there already was a school named in his honor, Cardinal Cushing High School in South Boston. Cardinal Cushing requested that this school be named after Cardinal Spellman, a native of Whitman whose life story is depicted in the murals on our auditorium walls. The new school was to be staffed by the Sisters of St. Joseph of Boston, founded in 1873 as an order of teaching religious women to foster religious and academic excellence in the generations to come. Spellman's first principal was Sister Vera, who, with a few other sisters, became Spellman's first faculty. Spellman opened on September 5th, 1958. Now, to give you some time perspective, in 1958, Mr. McEwen was a junior in college. <laughs> and I had just celebrated my first birthday. There is no baby picture coming. <laughs> Founders Day, October 20th, 1958. The day's events consisted of Cardinal Cushing blessing the school at the front doors, placement of the cornerstone near the chapel entrance, and a flag ceremony. Here we see the raising of the school flag. This flag flew over the Capitol, and this next fact has great historical meaning. That flag was donated to Spellman by then Senator John F. Kennedy. Also seen in this photo is Mrs. Westerland's father. He is the second man from the left. That year, the freshman class began with 300 students. They were the only class at Spellman in 1958. Each year, an additional class would be added until in 1962, the school was complete with all four grade levels our first graduating class, the class of 1962, held their graduation ceremony here inside our auditorium on June 1st, with 220 members receiving their diplomas from Sister Vera. Spellman's first lay teacher was Mr. Peter Ambrose. Now, we often refer to the Spellman family. Well, it is very true in this case. Peter Ambrose is Mrs. Briggs' father, and Eric Belton and Matthew Briggs are two of his grandsons. Peter was hired in 1959 to teach phys ed and to be the first football coach. That first year, the team went on to have an undefeated season, thus beginning Spellman's legendary sporting history. Through the years, Spellman has educated over 6,000 students as they have passed through our halls, graduating with a Spellman diploma and moving on to influence the world. Spellman has such a rich history but for most of us here today, our foundation at Spellman, the basis for our connection to Spellman, has been Sister Thomasine. Sister began her life here at Spellman as a young teacher in 1974, teaching Latin and religion. In 1979, she became assistant principal and then our principal in 1985. In 2006, Spellman changed its form of governance and Sister Thomasine became the first president of Cardinal Spellman High School. Spelman is a proud and prestigious institution of higher learning that has fulfilled the ambitions of Cardinal Cushing when, in 1957, he dreamed of providing the Brockton area with a Catholic high school to advance the teachings of the church, excellence in Catholic education, <laughs> with opportunities for students to maximize their potential, with respect for themselves and others, serving their community, the church, and the world and we do certainly practice what we preach. <laughs>